Chris, like Derek Brewster and Cody Love. Our heart is one of the strongest muscles in our body. Each day our heart beats 100,000 times, 3,600,000 times a year, and 2.5 billion times in our lifetime. The heart pumps 2,000 gallons of blood a day and 1.5 million barrels in our lifetime, or 200 train car tanks. The heart creates enough energy each day to drive a truck for 20 miles. The protective coverings of our heart include the fibrous pericardium, which encloses the heart and has two layers. These layers include the visceral pericardium, which actually lays on top of the heart, and the outer layer, the parenteal pericardium, which is attached to the diaphragm, sternum, and vertebrae. The heart, along with the coverings of the heart, sit in the pericardial cavity, which is filled with serous fluid that reduces friction while beating. The heart has three layers. The outermost layer, the epicardium. The middle layer, which is the myocardium, and is made of cardiac muscle. And the endocardium, the innermost layer. This layer is simple squamous epithelium. The heart has four chambers, the right atrium and the right ventricle. These chambers are also known as the pulmonary circuit. These two chambers pump deoxygenated blood from the body through the lung to become oxygenated. The left side of the heart, the left atrium, and the left ventricle are known as the systemic circuit. These two chambers pump oxygenated blood from the lungs to the body and the heart itself. The vessels and valves of the heart. The vessels and valves responsible for delivering deoxygenated blood from the body to the lungs include the superior vena cava, which delivers blood from above the diaphragm, and the inferior vena cava, which delivers blood from below the diaphragm, and the pulmonary artery. The valves in the pulmonary circuit include the tricuspid valve and the pulmonary semilunar valve. The vessels and valves responsible for delivery oxygenated blood from the lungs to the body include the pulmonary vein, the aorta. The valves in the systemic circuit include the mitre valve, also known as the bicuspid valve, and the aortic valve. The deoxygenated blood flow. Now that we know the makeup of the heart, Let's go over how the blood flows through it. Deoxygenated blood flows from the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium. From the right atrium, blood flows through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. From here, blood flows up through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary arteries and into the lungs for oxygenation. This is the pulmonary circuit. Oxygenated blood flow. After the lungs have done their job of oxygenating the blood, it flows back into the heart through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. From here, blood flows through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle, through the aortic valve, up to the aorta. From the aorta, oxygenated blood flows into the body by three arteries, the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid artery, and the left subclavian artery. This is the systemic circuit. From this presentation, we hope you have learned the parts of the heart and the intricate ways that helps to keep us pumping full of life. Thank you.